The shape of a molecule is determined by how many areas of electron density, also called electron sets or electron clouds, there are around the central atom, and how many of these areas contain bonding electrons and therefore have an atom bonded to the central atom. How these atoms are arranged around the central atom determines the shape of the molecule. Although all electron clouds determine the geometry or arrangement of these electron clouds around the central atom, only the position of the atoms bonded to the central atom are used to name the shape of the molecule. An electron cloud could be a lone pair of electrons, also called a non-bonding pair of electrons, a single bond, double bond, or a triple bond. As each electron cloud contains negatively charged electrons, these electron sets repel to get as far away from each other as possible. This is to minimize repulsion and make the molecule more stable. This is known as the valence shell electron pair repulsion, or VSEPR theory. The polarity of a molecule is determined by the type of bonds in the molecule and also the symmetry of the molecule. If a bond is between two atoms that are the same, like in the case of oxygen gas, the bond is non-polar because the two atoms have the exact same electronegativity or pull on the bonded electrons. As the bonded electrons are shared evenly between the two atoms, there is no permanent slightly negative end or slightly positive end. This means there is no separation of charges called a dipole across the bond. If a bond occurs between two different atoms, the bond is polar because the two atoms have different electronegativities or pulls on the bonded electrons. The bonded electrons are shared unevenly between the two atoms as they sit much closer to the more electronegative atom, leaving that atom slightly negative and the other atom slightly positive. This means there is a separation of charges across the bond and so it has a dipole. The exception to this is the C to H bond or carbon to hydrogen bond. Although it occurs between two different atoms, the, the difference in electronegativity between these two atoms is less than 0.5 and so the bond is considered non-polar. Watch the video on polarity linked in the description below if you need to revise it. The overall molecule is polar if the atoms are arranged around the central atom in such a way that there is a separation of charges across the entire molecule, leaving a slightly positive end and a slightly negative end. This occurs when the atoms are spread unevenly around the central atom, which happens when there are lone pairs of electrons, or when the atoms are spread evenly around the central atom, but there is more than one type of atom bonded to the central atom. In both cases, the molecule is not symmetrical, so the dipoles do not cancel and the molecule is polar. The overall molecule will be non-polar if all of the bonds are non-polar, or if the bonds are polar, but the atoms are spread evenly around the central atom and the molecule is symmetrical. For this to be the case, all atoms bonded to the central atom must be the same. The dipoles then cancel out and there is no slightly positive end and slightly negative end to the molecule. As there is no separation of charges, or dipole, across the entire molecule, it is non-polar. At level 2, we looked at the molecular shape and polarity of molecules with up to 4 areas of electron density. I will link the video covering the level 2 molecules in the description below. The theory is exactly the same at level 3, but we also include molecules with an expanded octet that have five or six areas of electron density around the central atom. A molecule that has five areas of electron density around the central atom has a trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. This is because it looks like it has a pyramid on the top and bottom. We therefore have two pyramids and we use the word bi for two. The three electron sets in the middle are all in the same plane and make a triangle. There is then one set above and one set below the triangle. A trigonal bipyramidal arrangement has two bond angles 
of 120 degrees between the electron sets in the same plane and 90 degrees between the electron sets above and below with those in the triangle. So we can get four shapes from the trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. The first is trigonal bipyramidal, and this is when all five electron sets are bonded. This shape is also called trigonal bipyramidal because the arrangement is the same as the shape. As the bonded atoms are arranged symmetrically around the central atom, the dipoles will cancel out if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. Therefore, the molecule will be nonpolar if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. However, it will be polar if there are different atoms bonded to the central atom. This is because the dipoles will be of different strengths and won't be able to cancel out. The second shape is seesaw. And this is when one of the five electron sets is a lone pair. One of the electron sets in the triangle is always the lone pair. And this is because the bond angle between the electron sets above or below the triangle and all electron sets around it is only 90 degrees. Whereas the bond angle between the electron sets in the triangle and those around it are 120 degrees and 90 degrees. There is more separation between the lone pair of electrons and the electron sets around it when the lone pair is in the triangle, so there is less repulsion. As the bonded atoms are arranged unevenly around the central atom, the molecule is asymmetrical and the dipoles do not cancel out. Therefore, any molecule with this shape will always be polar. The third shape is T-shaped. This occurs when there are two lone pairs of electrons. Again, both lone pairs are in the triangle and this leaves us with something that looks like a capital T with atoms above and below the triangle and one within it. As the bonded atoms are arranged unevenly around the central atom, the molecule is asymmetrical and again the dipoles do not cancel out. Any molecule with this shape will also always be polar. Finally, if there are three lone pairs of electrons, all of the electron sets in the triangle are lone pairs and the shape is linear. As the bonded atoms are arranged symmetrically around the central atom, the dipoles will cancel out if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. The molecule will be nonpolar if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. However, it will be polar if there are different atoms bonded to the central atom. This is because the dipoles will be of different strengths and won't be able to cancel out. Any molecule that has six areas of electron density around the central atom has an octahedral arrangement because it looks like an octahedron, which is basically two square base pyramids, one on the top and one on the bottom. There are four areas of electron density that are all in the same plane and they make a square shape. There is then one area of electron density above and one below the square. An octahedral arrangement has a bond angle of 90 degrees. There are three shapes that have an octahedral arrangement. The first shape is octahedral. With this shape, all six electron sets are bonded. As there are no lone pairs of electrons, all electron sets contribute to the name of the shape. And so the name is the same as its arrangement. As the bonded atoms are arranged symmetrically around the central atom, the dipoles will cancel out if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. And so therefore the molecule will be nonpolar if the atoms bonded to the central atom are the same, but polar if there are different atoms bonded to the central atom. The second shape is square-based pyramid. With this shape, there are only five bonding pairs of electrons and one lone pair. And the lone pair is found at the bottom of the pyramid. As only the bonded pairs of electrons contribute to the name of the shape, it is square-based pyramid because that is what it looks like. As the bonded atoms are arranged unevenly around the central atom, the molecule is asymmetrical and the dipoles cannot cancel each other out. So any molecule with this shape will always be polar. 
The third shape is square planar. There are four bonding pairs of electrons and two lone pairs. The four bonding pairs are found in the same plane and make up that square shape in the middle. It gets its name from the fact that the shape is square and all atoms are found in the same plane, which just means that they would lie flat on a surface. As the bonded atoms are arranged symmetrically around that central atom, the dipoles will cancel out, but again, only if all atoms bonded to the central atom are the same. If this is the case, the molecule will be nonpolar. However, it still will be polar if there are different atoms bonded to that central atom, which means that they won't be able, the dipoles won't be able to cancel. If you want more resources to help you pass NCA Level 3 Chemistry, then check out the AECN website, which I will link in the description below. The next video will cover intermolecular forces. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when that video is released.